Hey YouTubers, welcome back to yet another helmet video. I'm Mike B. Um, today we're going to be discussing a really common helmet that I think everyone should probably grab before they uh, get dried up and and are gone forever. So we've got the Hungarian M70 helmet. So what, what it was, was in the 1950s, the Hungarians used a similar helmet, but it was uh, more styled after the Soviet SSH-40 and the liner style and everything, yet a little bit different. And um, in the night, in the 1970, they decided to have the similar style of the SSH-40 with a little bit of a cosmetic change and this um, weird, tacky, like, shiny, disgusting gloss paint that's apparently supposed to be infrared resistant. Whether that's a fact or not, I don't know, and it's kind of weird and counterproductive because they mostly wore covers on these from what I can tell in pictures. So, I don't know exactly how that's supposed to work, but in 1990 they changed that, so I'm guessing it didn't work very well. But that's the reasoning for this really thick, glossy, kind of weird green paint on the Hungarian M70 helmets. You can see the shape is very, very similar to the SSH-40, but it doesn't have the rivets in the correct spot. That's because the liner system was totally upgraded and actually is probably one of the best out of the SSH-40 style Eastern Bloc helmets that um, I've personally encountered, and I'll get to that in a second. So this has got a uh, chin strap system. It's actually a four-point system, and that's a pretty big improvement over this, the two-point system of most of the other um, Soviet-style helmets. Anyways, so you can see that this looks really thick, but the steel is not that thick, actually. So it's just the paint. It's pretty disgusting. You got this nice little chin pad there, and it's a little hook style chin strap. So you just take this and uh, hook it around there, and it'll stay. Now for the liner, which is the cool part, you've got to uh, get it off the uh, styrofoam head. Come on, buddy. Please cooperate. You got a really nice pad system. This is about a size 60, 61. It's a pretty big one, it's an extra large, but uh, they're adjustable as well. You can see that's adjusted out a little bit. Um, this is one of the nicer ones, even though it's used. It looks pretty nice. Um, with this four point or four pad system in here, there's like foam inside of these, and they're very, very comfortable. And I love them. And I think if every SSH 40 helmet would have had this style liner, people would have probably worn them more. But I'm just joking. Every helmet really sucks to wear just because of the weight. But, anyways. These things are really cool to have. They're cool souvenirs. Great for kids that like to play Army. I mean, it's like I sell them for 20 bucks, which is dirt cheap for a, a helmet like this. Um, the ones you're going to get from me are going to be all complete like this and everything because I search through all the incomplete ones and sell them as such. But anyways, not trying to do a plug for my little business, just kind of letting you know how cheap they are. Very affordable, really cool pieces of history. Uh, they were used definitely during the Cold War. Uh, my other video you can check out, I've got the uh, Hungarian M90 helmet, which is pretty much exactly this helmet, but with uh, matte green paint. I'll still make a video on that and kind of tell you about the history and such. And then that other one's in unissued condition, which is pretty cool. So, all right, we'll keep this one nice and short as well. So... Thanks everyone for watching. If you haven't yet, you can like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you consider uh, checking out my Patreon and supporting me on there, that'd be really cool too. If not, not a problem. I appreciate everyone who has subscribed and viewed thus far, and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.